Kenneth Bloom, aka Ken, is the victim of Barry B. Benson's cuckery. Just look at this smug fuck, thinking he's all that because he's a talking bee and shit. Man, fuck this guy. Ken was just living a happy, normal life with his girlfriend, Vanessa Bloom, when this bee entered his home and I fucked his girlfriend right in front of him. As you know, Ken tried to kill Barry initially upon the two meeting. Due to Ken's allergies towards bees, I find this to be a completely reasonable response. Later on after this hostile meeting, Ken attempted to be friendly to Barry because his girlfriend didn't want him killing him for some odd reason. I mean, it's not like he has a bee allergy or anything. I mean, I don't know, Vanessa, maybe it was just a fluke this whole fucking time. Let us not forget how Barry invaded Ken and Vanessa's home after stalking them and following them to their home. He, this son of a bitch then enters Vanessa and Ken's house and he steals Vanessa away from Ken. After Barry tried to steal Vanessa away from Ken, you know, he didn't appreciate that very much. So Ken tried his best to fight Barry off. But unfortunately, he was just too good at martial arts and Ken was sadly defeated. All he could do was sit in his winter boots and listen on as Barry went to Pound Town with his girlfriend. Now granted, Barry is a sentient bee, but that still doesn't excuse Vanessa's for the streets behavior. She quite literally chose a bee that would die a fucking gruesome death if it accidentally stung her. She chose fucking Barry the Bee over Ken, a literal perfect human being that is really good at tennis. Ken is literally a perfect person. And Vanessa just couldn't see that. All the man wanted was to play tennis and have yogurt night with his girlfriend. Just listen to the pain in this man's voice. Better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Oh. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Do you hear the agony in that man's voice like I do? That is the kind of sound you make when you've lost the love of your life to a goddamn talking bee. Now, let's compare the two to see who is better for Vanessa. First up, we have Benson. Benson is a sentient bee, is voiced by Seinfeld, and he can fly. <sighs> so fucking boring. Compared to Ken, who is extremely handsome, very fit, very good at tennis, he can rollerblade backwards, is able to write resumes, and is able to perform job interviews, looks kind of like Markiplier, he can go hiking, and is voiced by the one and only Patrick Warburton. Ken, listen man, I know it can be hard to lose a person you think is your soulmate, but if she left you for some asshole named Barry B. Benson, then she clearly wasn't the one for you. Don't worry buddy, there are plenty of tennis playing, yogurt night loving fish in the sea. Vanessa is honestly pretty toxic for choosing a literal bee over Ken.